Today was a big day at the University of Rhode Island. It was the grand opening of the university's new Gender and Sexuality Identity Center. Many students and officials showed up to support the cause. Today is the first day campus police officers at the University of Rhode Island will be carrying firearms while protecting the campus. A campaign kickoff, engineering change at URI. The school is pushing for new engineering complex. We've learned URI will host a public seminar on Ebola. This comes as the campus is also hosting a vaccine conference as well. Our URI professor is working to stop the deadly Ebola virus by helping develop a vaccine. Dr. Annie DeGroote is director of URI's Institute for Immunology and Informatics, which is sponsoring this vaccine conference in Providence. The conference brings the researchers, educators, and private company reps together to discuss ways to combat world diseases. URI students, professor, marched in solidarity with French citizens following attacks on the magazine. Ian Canterman's a sophomore majoring in bio... Biomedical engineering. Biomedical engineering. Another one of those phenomenal URI engineering students that the world knows about. It was kind of a surprise. We weren't aware that she was uh, pregnant. She was got bred before we acquired her, so uh, she started to look a little round, and then we got surprised uh, last weekend with a baby donkey. Well, Gene, here at the State Crime Lab on the campus of URI, the experts are playing a major role in trying to identify suspects in this incident by identifying fingerprints. Jimmy Oxley is a world-renowned explosives expert. Dr. Isaac Guinness is a hurricane expert at the University of Rhode Island's Graduate School of Oceanography. Brad Weatherby, a marine biologist at the University of Rhode Island, has been tracking Makos up and down the coast for seven years. Bob Ballard discovered the Titanic in 1985, and as you'll see tonight, he hasn't stopped exploring. Dr. Thomas Mather with the University of Rhode Island is often referred to as the Tick Guy. He collects them, he studies them, he tracks them. Today, we're going to talk about inclusion and diversity, and we have a very special guest to help us with that, Naomi Thompson, Associate Vice President, Office of Community Equity and Diversity, University of Rhode Island. I hope you don't try to put that on a badge at any time. <laughs> that would be a little tough. Now at 5.30 tonight, Rhode Island's largest dam could likely withstand an earthquake. That's the finding from a URI assistant professor who performed the first seismic tests on the Gaynor Memorial Dam at the Situate Reservoir. The mile a minute vine is an aggressive plant. One URI scientist is taking a unique approach to try to stop it from spreading. Weevils are being deployed as a method of biocontrol. Scientists have actually been measuring the global electric circuit since the 1950s, when the lab was set up by Charles Polk of the University of Rhode Island. The winter moth caterpillar is out in large numbers this spring. For the larger trees, scientists at URI have released a parasitic fly to attack the winter moth caterpillar. URI researchers are going to the bottom of the ocean in search of beach sand. It's part of a new study to help areas along Rhode Island's coastline recover from Superstorm Sandy. Now, renowned explorer Robert Ballard and his team are returning to this forgotten battlefield with the latest technology. Okay, team, 100 meters. Here we're able to get a picture that shows you what it would look like if you could take the water away. 1,962 feet below the Gulf of Mexico, researchers from EV Nautilus had a rare encounter with a sperm whale. The remotely operated vehicle piqued the interest of the whale, and hearing the researchers' reactions is just great. Whoa. Oh, wow. Whoa. Holy cow. Wow. Horse lovers gathered in East Greenwich today to watch the URI equestrian team. People there cheered on Attleboro native and URI alum Jeff Cameron, who starts for Team USA. Remember this name, Tyler Wilson. He's Rhode Island's ace. He's only a freshman, and he's one of the hardest pitchers to hit in the entire country. See, the Rhode Island basketball team is red hot right now, winners of five straight. Here at the University of Rhode Island, magic still in the air, the campus abuzz about one of their own. There was a party in the streets at URI Wednesday night following 2010 graduate Matt Franco's America's Got Talent victory. They had a viewing party for the show last night. I mean, that type of support is just unparalleled. A busy weekend here at URI. This year, nearly 6,000 students will be living in a residence hall on campus. This is our largest residential population of students ever. 
So it means all of our residence halls are full. We had more upperclassmen want to stay on campus. Hey, hats off to the Kappa Delta sorority at URI, raising over $25,000 for Prevent Child Abuse America. Three URI students board the 53-foot research vessel Captain Birch at Wickfer Harbor as they do each week to trawl the bay at two stations. Great story out of URI, helping world hunger and public relations students adding to the project. Students at the University of Rhode Island held a nonviolent protest today. More than three dozen people participated to try and bring attention to what they believe was a miscarriage of justice. South County Habitat for Humanity project that brings dozens of volunteers together to build a home for a deserving veteran. A lot of the URI students filled in the rest of the gaps on the uh, for volunteers. Taylor Gleason will be graduating just down the street from his new home at URI. A degree in mechanical engineering. Under the warm sun, the University of Rhode Island handed out more than 3,800 degrees, the majority of those to undergraduates. To my fellow students, I congratulate you all. You are a rare breed. You are like luminous stars in the universe, scintillating with the light of hope for our human family. Do not fear the daunting darkness of our world, for you are the light that will dispel the darkness with the radiance of your integrity and justice. 